I mean, we previously looked at getting summary statistics, but now what happens in my data when we have missing values? Well, the above code ignores missing values, and, that, and that's good. And that doesn't always happen. But wouldn't it be interesting, do, do we want to understand what these missing values are? How many we've got? Can we determine the number? of missing values for each field, for each variable. All right, we can do that. And it's not a difficult piece of code to, to do that. So let's take a look. All we have to do is df, here's our data frame, right? We still have df up here. We've already read it in. And then is null. And I'd like the sum of all of the is nulls, all right? How many do I have? So let's run that. It's going to go through all the entire data and Think I needed to put the brackets there because without the brackets, I, it's just telling me all the ones that are false. These are all have things in them, but I really want to get the sum so I can get summary data because I, I, this isn't telling me much at all. So let's rerun this with the parentheses at the end to give me some better understanding. So what this tells me is for each one of these, there are zero missing values for every single one of my variables. That's great, right? So in this particular case, there are no missing values. For the missing values, if we had any, right? If we were interested, if we were interested, in finding which rows had a missing value, we can use this, okay? We can use this. Now, obviously we don't have any missing values and I'm not gonna, well, I guess I could put a missing value in one of these one of these rows and columns. So I guess let's do that. Let's at least put a missing value in. So let's go uh, DF and we want to put in DF um, two, row two million. All right, so two, one, two, three, comma. And we'll put that in Put that in sales dollars and we'll have that equal i think it's n n a a yeah let's try that that's giving me a, a, a issue here so i want to make sure i'm doing this correctly okay just a little bit of research and I was trying to set it to NA, but I'm just going to make it make it nothing. So I'm putting a quotation marks with nothing in there. Okay, so we're going to run that. And it did not like that either. Let's instead of putting in, let's put in column six. Let's see if that works. Because I look at my listing here, I go, 
zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So in sales dollars, let's see if that works. That seemed to work. Okay, now if we wanted to find out what which one had the missing value, right? We can, so this is assigning the missing value. Well, let's find it. So we'll find null data is equal to df, df dot is null. And then we'll go dot any for access equals one. Okay, this should work. Let's see, this should give us null data and it'll tell me exactly where it is, I hope. Let's see. Okay, it's looking, it's looking. Now it should find it at 206, so let's see, null data. Uh, it didn't find any, uh, so obviously I did not define this well here. Um, for that particular data, but this is how you could find it. Um, I don't have a, a good example to show you how, that this is actually working, because uh, this should be null when I take a look at, if I say give me df, value of df, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, comma, six, this should give me nothing in there. investigation here. Okay, I figured out what my problem was. I forgot to put in when I was assigning it the dot loc. So it's basically this location. Make that blank. So let's run that. And then when I pull this, it should give me blank. It does. So then I can actually probably man. Let's see if that works. Nope, does not like that. So let's leave it at blank like that. Now let's run this null data. And see if I get any results. Look at null data. It's giving me everything. <laughs> Except for one row. All right, so this all looks fine. To scroll down to two million, so let's assign zero and six, right? Because that's going to be the very first row. Okay, and I'm going to just open up data frame just to see whether or not I'm actually assigning that to be a blank. It's not actually doing what I wanted it to do. Interesting. Okay, well, I haven't been able to figure out how to actually put in an NA value, so I'm going to do a little research on that. But 
this is how you would find what you have for null data. Uh, obviously, I was not able to do that as successfully as I wanted to. So after you have identified what your null values are, there are different ways to replace your null values with something else. What you'll see a lot in science is they may use a measure of central tendency for that particular item uh, and then put anything that with missing values and give it that central tendency. So uh, if you know what the item is and the replacement value, value for the index and column Go back to how to add data. Um, go back to how to add data in the add data script. All right? If you don't know the value, the analyst could make an argument. that the replacement could be the mean or the median. If the data is skewed, the median may make more sense. than the mean. Uh, we cannot, you know, what, we, what I'm going to show you is we cannot use these two lines. Since we don't have, have any missing values and I couldn't figure out how to create missing values. <laughs> But these two lines of code should work. Right? So the first thing is let's get them, let's assign, let's assign a number, we'll call it the median, and that's going to be whatever our data frame name is, whatever the variable name is. And then we're going to do dot median. Right, just as we as just the same way we did it up here, DF sales dollars median. So we're just basically, but here we're going to assign it to a value, a variable called median, and then we can write the next line of code, which is DF for the variable name, and now we want to dot fill NA using median. And we want to take these items and put them in there. Okay? So we're going to take the median and put it in place of what is in there now. So that's how you could, first of all, identify if you have any null values, figure out where it is. If you, then if you know what it is, then you can go back to add data script, add it in there. Otherwise, you can use create the median and then put the median, fill the, fill the NAs with the medium and replace the NAs with that median.